another episode of Car Talk. I know, I know, I haven't done a Car Talk for y'all in so long. I've been so busy giving y'all this other vlogging content. But today, as you've seen by the title, we're going to do a BMW versus Mercedes. And the do's and don'ts of what we like and what we don't like. And as you see to my right, I got my boy Rich Black, a.k.a. Black Grease. Yo, you know what I'm saying? And to give a little history on who this is and why I got him on the channel, like I always let y'all know who is. This the first nigga that let me drive a, a 7 Series BMW. Like, I did first, first, very first, changed the game. And once you drive, you drive anything that foreign caliber, you don't want to go back. You don't want to go back. At all. That a regular American shit, you don't want to go back. Unless it's you talking Challengers, Dodges, Corvettes, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. That's, you that's, know. that's, that's more cool. That's like more cool. Like that, that's, that's a toy versus a luxury. It's a big difference. It's like big difference. comparing apple and vegetables. They both good for you. you know what yeah, I'm real, they, they, they real. I like that. You, he you know said they mean? both good for you. I like you know, that. It's a different ball game. Different, it's a different ball. ball game. Like if I, if I see myself spending, you know, a damn like six, seven grand, you know, yep, yep, I'm yep. gonna spend a little extra. I, me personally, I haven't done it, but you know, uh, as far as spending that type of money, I never find this kind of money. Like, but if I have, which I do, I will lease it. Recommend that lease it. Get rid of it. Rich talk. nigga shit. Okay. Uh, but. If I would, I'd rather just spend that X thirty K and get like a new S five fifty. Cause I, me personally, it's like it's like a house on wheels, you know. Like, and I know me the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. I love to drive fast, man. man I, I, I look, kill myself. Look, I, that look, hell, demons look. Hellcats. I, I might get one in the future, but that and motorcycles, I try to stay away. From I did, especially the motorcycles. I try to stay, I away, stay away from that yeah, shit, bro. I like, I like, I like, I like the crew. Yeah, I like the crew. But don't, don't, don't tweet, man. That don't that, horns they, get they, up. Get up. They yeah. get up. You be doing 80, 90. Oh, you be doing 80, 90, not knowing you're doing 80, right. 90. You be like, damn. Yeah. Okay. You know, but you so smooth. Spaceship. 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 Mm -hmm. That's real shit. But yeah, man, it's the first guy that ever let me drive a BMW. We talking 745. We talking big boy. We not talking no baby little, little small. Like, we talking the big boy BMW. Man, I was, I was like 16, nigga. Yeah, we was young, man. And you was young as fuck too, bro. Yeah, well, that's great. That's almost damn man. Going on a decade. Man. Yeah, bro. Been doing this shit for a long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. And I'll be trying to tell y'all this, man. I just started picking up the camera and really just starting to vlog this because people start to let me know this ain't normal. You know, yeah, I thought it was normal doing this shit for yeah, so long. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Big blessing. Big blessing. Big blessing. Big blessing. Yeah. Big blessing. So, uh, but we gonna get into the topic of hand about BMWs and Mercedes. I've owned them BMWs. I, you've owned BMWs. We yeah. both own Mercedes. Yeah. So you still own the Mercedes right yeah, now? Yeah, you know what? On. To be honest with you, bro, I love BMW. I love Mercedes. I will always go with Mercedes over BMW because I feel like the maintenance. All BMWs have the rhetorical oily problem. A whole lot like, of shit. And not only that, it's like that, that 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 it's just a maintenance. It's a maintenance problem. No that matter, is. you go get something fixed, you right back in the shop. Mercedes has longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like once once your your um, warranty's up, <sighs> stay away from it. Yeah, stay away from it. If you yeah. ain't gonna get an extended warranty, if it don't qualify for extended warranty, stay away from it. Yeah, that BMW. Now my favorite BMW, we all know, is the Seven Series. Right. I love right. that shit. The new right. one, that motherfucker is Boy. amazing. But uh, I love the new 650 coupes. Okay. And I love the 650 photo coupes. And that's oh, what they yeah. say on the title, like the CLS Mercedes. Mm -hmm. uh, on the title, it says uh, photo coupe. You know right. what I'm saying? That, right. That's what it's. A lot of people don't know that. You know, you probably never touch paperwork on your car, but you <laughs> paperwork on your car, it says four door coupe. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's some real slick shit. That's some real player shit. Yeah. It's real slick. Me personally, before they dropped these new body S550s um, and the new body CLSs, because mm -hmm. uh, I had the older CLS. Yeah. I really like the older body of CLS more than the new one. They're yeah. kind of similar. But I kind of like the I like the uh, old, older one. It's more, it's more slicker. slicker. You know what I'm saying? See on my channel, and that's what I talk about all the time because they know about my S550, mm -hmm. right? And you know, 
I could have went and got the brand new one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got that new body style, but I didn't. And like I explained to them, it's because I don't like it as much as I like that big elephant. You know right. what I'm saying? That bitch, that bitch sit up with the, it's damn near like the wide body on that bitch with the little humps and everything. I'm mm-hmm. like, the new mm-hmm. one ain't got that. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, this shit ain't got that. It's something about them, the, the older ones that it's just like, I like them better. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with the Maybach, bro, the new Maybach, I don't like it as much as that old, the old big ass original Maybach. Right. Right. It's, a, it's a different type of boss that, to me. I actually, when I got in the first 550, uh, the new one, and what I love about it, though, well, first of all, all 550s, I love the interior lighting. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the new ones, I love how they put in the seats in the back. Yeah. That shit just so, so fucking slick. And then I love that fucking stupid-ass screen. screen. Yeah. Like that, that, these that new, screen. Them, with these new cars, they do the, the dashes are just Boy. unbelievable. Now, that XJL out here, mm-hmm. that was all digital dash. Yeah, now, that was hard. That shit's so that, fucking I mean, slick. Like, it was hard. I love that digital shit. That's, that's just that's just game changing shit right there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a fucking screen. It's computer. Like, literally. You know, you yeah, feel like every, you, you yeah. feel like you in a fucking spaceship. Yeah, it definitely. And then all the buttons and all the... You like, like, the Q7, is... like, the, not the Q7, the A7 we in right now, mm-hmm. it, don't, it has the digital screen in the middle of the speedometers. It's right. not a whole... But Full we, display. well, but car here niggas like me and you, we know Audi has always been behind on like technology. Yeah, and the interior. I, I, it's yeah. so plain Jane. I hate that, and I hate I hate that about BMW since we own yep, BMW. BMW and yep. BMW has the fucking ugliest interior, bro. Like yeah. that shit's sick. Like the 650. Imagine if they made the interior like how the 550s do. Yep. You, you, it's you like, them up, and you know what's crazy? Even though? the fucking i8. Look, I, I, I yeah, don't, they, 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 they made they, it so on, basic man. and plain in the eye. That bitch finna be like forty thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm still because, gonna get one. But <laughs> look, look. So I think get one, like, man. like, like the problem is, I think it's like this with the BMW on the interior. We on since we on the interior, it's like okay. When they first came out with that design with the interior, that was cold, top of the notch, you know what I'm saying? Because you had one in the early 740s when they did that, you know what I'm saying, a big boy and shit, and with that interior. But after a while, you talking 10 years later, and y'all still haven't really changed the inside of it. That's, 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 that's crazy. What y'all doing with the money we spending? You feel me? Yeah. What the fuck are y'all doing on money? Hit <laughs> motherfuckers. You cash big yeah, checks you, on that y'all motherfucker. Y'all got little money to put in there, you know what I'm Look, saying? and that's crazy because you still looking at, bro, even going to a 16 of a BMW, and it's like, what the mm-hmm. fuck is going Like, y'all still got this same old ass inside yeah. here. Like, yeah. like, what is going you on You know with what that? they did? They, 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 they thought this shit was cute. They put a little screen, like right here. Like how this, they, they, they yeah. thought that shit was cool. So that's just so cliche to me, man. Fuck out here. Put a little but screen. Like, put a little screen on them. Niggas love screen. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Say Black Friday, they going to buy TVs. They got a little mini TV in they shit. <laughs> hey, what, what niggas used to do back in the day? They used to go and modify their cars just to have a little absolutely, screen in there. Absolutely. So what now, they say? They say, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just put it in there. This is an in-dash. Yeah, this is an in-dash. Don't yeah, worry about it. They went to the swap and got this. Look, that's what they did. <laughs> and threw it in a $100,000 car. Right. It did. So that's one of the, that's a downfall of BMW because just like you, I love BMWs too because mm-hmm. they still beauties. But it's just the interior mechanically. Yeah, that's the big, that's the big one. Boy, they, that, the mechanically is the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. Is the biggest, the biggest and problem. And they fucking, they, uh, they fucking headlights ain't shit. Say Come on, for the angel lights, like, yeah. anybody know the halo lights? Angel halo lights, like, that's where you turn your headlights off. All BMWs have those circles, which mm-hmm. look sexy as hell at nighttime, man. That shit look fat. Mm-hmm. But they notorious for going out to them. Yep. Yo, those are my top three things about BMW. When they and them knew, headlights are like a thousand fucking dollars. Yep, when they knew, it looked beautiful. Yeah. It looks beautiful, but after the wear, it be like, really? Like, 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 it's yeah. just like, like. Also, um, the technology with like, like, well, like mechanically with the technology always glitching and all types of shit and yeah. that bitch. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the first, it's like every generation with BMW, that first generation always gonna be a failure. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like they just put out prototypes. Just yeah. To make and then they gonna just say, oh, yes, yes. y'all, they gonna buy it anyway. They gonna buy it anyway. Because BMW has a super loyal following to where people just gonna yeah, buy it yeah, because it's a yeah. BMW. They, this is this is the trick of BMW. Uh, you know about cars at all. They devalue faster than any other cars. Like, Very. Like, uh, Forms, like, pretty much, pretty much with, like, Mercedes' whole value, uh, along with BMW, Lexus, 
definitely Toyota. Like, the reason why they hold value because they're durable cars. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where BMW wins. They they devalue so much. So, for instance, once a car, they, the person have it for their 60 uh, month term, which mm -hmm. is five years, I believe. Right, right. Once they trade that car and that car goes back to auction, it's probably so much shit fucked up where it's going to sell cheap, but it looks damn good. Look like it's so, brand you new. So, you know, that's where they come in and say, well, I'm just a messenger. They say, black man wheels. And, you know, it's that's very a, affordable and it's for honest. a nigga to look very great yep. for a very low price because that car's already ran to the fucking ground. Brown. And now the maintenance is just, you know, you, you'll be lucky to get a sum out there. Ridiculous. Before you start putting all your money in it, you're going to sell it or, you know, Yep. Clever, something. Yep, and that's <laughs> what I like about Mercedes, because with Mercedes, even if, like, with mine right now, you know, it ain't know about the suspension issue and shit, but I have no other fucking issue wrong that's with That's it. Oh, yeah, Mercedes, yeah, uh, my CLS, yeah. Like, the suspension. My suspension. That's the like, number it, one it problem. It sit down, it sit down. Now, it could be two things with that. It could be the hose, and you pray to God it's a hose, mm -hmm. or it's a bag. That bag is, And yeah. that bag is a motherfucking bag. Yep. Yeah. That bag cost a bag. Yep, that's the truth. <laughs> but <laughs> only thing, though, like, like we keep it 100. We're not just going to say all the pluses about Benzes and how why we mm -hmm. love them. So we tell you the negatives, too. It's that mm -hmm. suspension. And it's documented here on my channel. I'm telling y'all. Y'all see this shit. That bag is like... It, it, that, that's a huge problem they, that Benz has with the suspension when they switched over to that air ride suspension shit. Yeah, that shit fucked shit up. It fucks shit up. But other than that, talking about them engines, you ought to see me. I done had that thing sitting up for months at a time. Oh, man. And I start, I pressed the start on that. Boom. Oh, mama says all the time, bro. I haven't driven that car probably in the last two years. Swear to God. Swear to God. I've probably driven that car maybe on, I count one hand, in the last two years. And it's still And it's started. still, it cranked right up. And it sounds amazing. You know what I mean? I got good. the CLS. Uh, AMG. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it, it's, it, it's an amazing fucking car. Yep. Amazing fucking car. Hey, but you know what, what, what happens with... It's an 06, by the way. Not, you know, that was my first Mercedes. My boy was with me. Like, I remember... Yeah. yeah. I remember the first song I played that motherfucker. It was, it was uh, Meek that, Mill. Yeah, All Tory I was a new Mercedes. Yep. I yep. felt like that motherfucking nigga. I traded my Porsche Turbo. Yep. 200 on the dash. And look, look. I on them boys. And look. let me tell you what's so on crazy. Forges. On Forges. So he had this... He had that. That blue. It was a blue... It was blue, right? That was like yeah, some it was like blue. a peanut butter and jelly color. Jelly, purple, yeah. Purple, purple, purple bluish. It was like real sexy. He had some Forgiados he had put on there. And he, he y'all know I'm not big on the big stupid rims, but these wasn't big stupid rims some on them. Them folds. Yeah, them yeah, folds that, that Porsche, so that, You can perfect. drop that suspension. And it, it, it was, they was tucked. Like was, little fucking kids at nighttime, they was I wish perfectly. I was vlogging then, bro. Man, oh god, it was because it was toys. it was some toy was things. Toys. Like what we doing now is so mild compared to how we was running through cars back yeah. then. But bro, like you traded that in and got got the Benz, and well he well yeah you traded it with a guy with, with a nigga with that for that for that for the Benz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he got yeah. the Benz. He I think I sold my seven. I sold my BMW when I got that Porsche truck. Yeah, fell in love with that Porsche truck. I'm not sure. Yeah, I trade. Yeah, I trade the Porsche truck for the CLS. Uh, and then look, what well, I told him, I said, "Damn, that's crazy. The Porsche truck hard." He's like, "I don't get these bins." I said, "Damn, the bins is hard." Mm -hmm. I said, "You know it'd be harder though if you get another Porsche Turbo in the bin." Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say probably less than a month later, Porsche Turbo in the bin. Oh God. <laughs> no facts, cap. Facts. This is this and, is all. And, and the Camaro still had the Camaro too. Oh, yeah, still have the fucking Camaro, too. This goes back to what we were saying. We not just bias on foreign cars. We was in love with that Camaro. I love that Camaro yeah. so much. And that was when it first came out. Yeah, that was when it was brand new. You know, finds out everywhere I went. Man, Keys, you know what I mean? That Camaro was something. Think you driving something. a Batmobile. Because that's when the Transformer movie came, yeah, came out. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, everybody we got Everybody was on that motherfucker. You know what? We gonna make a. I ain't even gonna. We gonna give them no more gems on that on that on that Camaro because now we gotta do a car talk just about the Camaro. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. it's talk about the history on mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. but yeah, guys, we ain't gonna keep stretching this video out too long. You kind of get the gist of what we saying and who we go with with uh, with BMW versus Mercedes. Mercedes. It's very easy, Mercedes. Yes, you have suspension issues with the Mercedes, but guess what? Everything else is gonna last on that. If you want a good engine, oh. That right there is another, that's a demon. You're going to see that on the channel real soon, you know. But we ain't going to talk about that either right now. But, yeah, the suspension issues that come with the bins, it's expensive. But, when you know, if you fix that suspension, 
You ain't gonna have no other problem. You right. Yeah. You in there. Mm -hmm. You in the game. Comfortable. Very comfortable. <laughs> BMW on the other hand, you might have an engine overheat, an engine leaking. The electronics in there might be tweaking a little, but guess what? It's, I'm, I'm, it's gonna I'm, look good. It's though. gonna look good. Oh yeah, it's gonna look it's good. Look good though. It's like an ornament. It's like an ornament. If it's sit there, yeah, yeah, it look like, pretty it's just like, sitting it's up. Like, just hanging. Just, just hanging around. Just don't just start like that. Look. <laughs> don't it, start it. Cloud of smoke. My, but my, my, I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be weird for y'all. My, my favorite three things about Mercedes, and I'm not gonna say like major shit because I already said my majors. But on the key, you. Hold the unlock button, it rolls all the windows down. That mm -hmm. shit's an amazing feature besides like in the summertime to let all that heat out. Yeah. When you turn your AC on. Yeah, that cool off way quicker. Yeah. Uh two that I love about Mercedes. I love that motherfucking mirror tint. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. That I love glaze. It. I love that shit. Yeah. And uh three, I love the night vision drive on the additions they put them on. Yeah. Man. And that, that's the one that I'm at. On the interior design. On four things, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, the interior design. Just a Benz, nigga. It's just it's a Benz. I'm mad I ain't got night vision on mine. Man, they they I I, I low key think you can uh get it modified. Easy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's actually good. It's it's real easy to get modified to do it, but it's just like damn. Let me do something about that. But yeah, I might as well just don't get it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, man, we well, yeah. go on and sell them, man. We come back. That's it. Sit on, like cars when it come like like certain shit like a lot of people are like why you don't sell your Mercedes one because it's just a good. Fucking car. You ever hear somebody say like, just cause it's a good car, you don't care how old it is? Bro, it's just a it's good, good car. It, it's a good car. Look, bro, good I tell I tell them that all the time on the channel. They be like waiting for me. Like, when you go do it? It's my like. Why you don't just sell it? What? Right. No, I, that's my just baby. Like, it's just like the white folks do. Man. They they, they do it. They, they do it. They say they shit and then twenty get years new, from now, yep, get another, yep, get another one. Twenty. Couple. Yep, twenty years from it's now, they sell it. It's my first generation one. Uh, yep. I got this when I was. You know, got this. You know what I'm saying? Why we can't do the same? You know. But, guys, so we're going to end this video over here. Man, I'm going to catch you guys next time. I'm going to put his Instagram in the link below if he want me yeah, to. The sun go down. I'm going to disappear, man. Say, that's why I got to hurry up kill a video because <laughs> you ain't going to be able to see him in a minute here. But, yeah, guys, so I'm going to put his Instagram in the link below. And y'all stay tuned. More car talk coming soon. More contact coming soon. Got a lot of more legendary stuff for y'all. So just stay tuned. See you next time. Peace. I had to run in my boot. You broke his I can't have, bro. Nah, I had to run him up. I had, I had to run him up.